MJ, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Um, I know that you got a number of questions about Senator Menendez on Friday, but now that the senator himself has said that he is not going anywhere, and given that President Biden is the leader of the Democratic Party, uh, does the president believe that a person who is facing allegations that are as serious as the allegations uh, confronting the senator, uh, that there is any place for somebody like Senator Men Menendez in the Democratic Party? So I'm going to be very clear. This is a serious matter. We see this as a serious matter. I think, uh, and we believe, uh, the senator stepping down from his chairmanship was the right thing to do, obviously, the right thing to do. Uh, as it relates to anything else, any decision that he has to make, that's certainly going to be up to him and the Senate leadership to decide. But of course, we see this as a serious matter. And I'm just going to leave it there for, for now. And just just yep. quickly sure. on um, the trip to Detroit tomorrow, uh, what changed? Can you give us a sense of uh, what went into the decision for the president to go stand on the picket line and show that kind of solidarity with the workers there. So as you just laid out, um, you know, um, this is something, I mean, well, the president is a union guy, right? You heard him say that many times. He is, uh, he is the most uh, pro-union president in modern times. That is not something that he's given him that, himself that title. That is something that labor unions have given uh, to him, and he wears that very proudly. And um, as you all know, uh, the president of U UAW invited him uh, to, to attend, and he, he accepted. Uh, but look, this is a president that's made very, very clear that he believes that corporate profits should lead to record UAW, a record UAW contract. Uh, and, uh, you know, before the strike even occurred, he, uh, he made public announcements about this. He spoke to the parties uh, on both sides of this. He has made it very, very clear that he supports union workers, he supports the UAW workers, and tomorrow what you're going to see is, is historic, right? This is going to be a historic visit, uh, and the president's going to continue to show his support, not just from the last couple of years, but as he has been in the public eye as a senator, as a vice president, his support for, for unions. And, uh, and you've seen this in the last two years uh, with his pro-union policies, making sure that his pro-union policies are indeed pro-workers. So should we take from the visit that the president is explicitly taking the side of the union workers as opposed to the companies? Well, he has been very clear, right? He is pro pro UAW. He is pro uh, workers. You know that is the, that is the that is the, this president, right? He has said the middle class was built. Uh, the unions built the middle class. Uh, this is something that he said over and over again. He's always been on the side of workers. He believes that there is an opportunity here, and he is encouraged and he is pleased uh, by seeing both sides continue to have that conversation. It is their negotiation to make, right? This is why he says he believes in collective bargaining. And uh, he believes that this, there could be a win-win uh, agreement here. Uh, but he's always going to stand on the side of workers, always.